What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Tamika. Told y'all I'll be back with another video. Yeah, I just had to get that off my chest on my previous video. But I am here to talk to y'all about what I really wanted to talk to y'all about, which is all the legal drama that's going on with the cast of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, y'all. Like, it is going down behind the scenes, okay? First of all, Carly Red, her messy ass has gotten herself into some real mess. See, her ass too busy trying to find the next dick to jump on for her next storyline. She done fucked up. Okay, now y'all know that she, I guess, had got with this guy named Pharaoh. He's, I think, a rapper or something like that. Anyway, they got into it at a hotel about like a month ago or whatever, and she told him that, hey, you know, I'm going to tell people that you tried to rape me, because I guess they got into it, and he was like, you know what, look, I'm done with you, and she spazzed out on him and was like, you know, nigga, I'm going to lie and tell everybody you raped me, which I'm not surprised because Carly Red is the queen of messy, okay? And she would do any and everything to hold her crown. And what I mean by that is not just being messy, but she know that she really don't got a storyline on love and hip hop. Let's just be real, okay? She don't got a storyline. That's why she always, when they're not filming, trying to hurry up and find some dick to hop on. So they could be her storyline. If not, then she's sitting up there telling everybody damn business. And so I'm not surprised that she's sitting up here talking about she going to conjure up this story. Well, guess what, y'all? Pharaoh was not having that shit. Oh, no, no, no. He said, you know what? You defame, you defame my name. I'm coming after you. So he is suing her for a million dollars for defamation. Now, of course, he ain't gonna never see a dime because, come on, y'all, let's be honest. Carly Red don't got a million freaking dollars. Everybody knows that Mona Scott Young pays them with McDonald's coupons, okay? She barely be lucky if he can get a, if she can get him a dollar, okay? That's all I'm saying. So, Pharaoh, good luck with that. But the fact that you sat up there and was willing to get it down on paper that this bitch is a liar, I'm here for it, okay? I'm truly here for it. So, I'm with it. He ain't gonna never see that money, but the fact that he like, look, you ain't gonna lie on me, says a lot about his character because a lot of other dudes have let her get away with it. You know, lying, sitting up here, you know, using it for storylines. Like, it's a dog on shame. How many knots does she got on her belt just from loving hip hop alone? So I do not feel sorry for you, Carly Red. Just gone somewhere. I don't know what you're gonna do because you run out of storylines. You run out of you run out of me in the school for a storyline. Shoot, in a minute your ass gonna be in jail trying to get a storyline because you're gonna mess with the wrong person. But anyway, on to the next story. The other person that can't seem to get it together is Stevie J. Now, Stevie J, you know, was put on probation for the child support case. And part of that was that he had to go see his probation officer and he had to stay off drugs. He even went as far as to go into rehab. You know, they chronicled that on last season's Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. I was really rooting for Stevie. I really thought that he had really turned the corner because everybody knows, especially in the first two seasons of Love and Hip Hop, that he was down on his luck. And then it seemed like when he got a little money, he started getting back into drugs again. You know, you always saw him and Jocelyn wiping each other's noses and shit. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? But anyway, so I was really happy when he decided to go ahead and go to rehab. He even was trying to, you know, distance himself from certain people that could bring down and, you know, mess up his sobriety, including Jocelyn. But now it seems that Stevie has run amok. I guess Jocelyn has run him damn fucking crazy because now 
he's missing court appearances he's failed several drug tests to the point where everybody thought that Steve was gonna go to jail but no he's not going to jail he's going back to rehab and then from there he's gonna have to do house arrest so Stevie I need you to really get it together you are a freaking genius everybody in the industry has always said that Stevie is a genius Stevie fell off not because he wasn't talented he fell off because he got to them drugs real bad and I just hate that like I hate to see drugs rip people of their talent especially like I don't know like I'm a real music lover particularly of the 90s and early 2000s because to me that was the last era of real good music so when I see people you know like Stevie J shoot Whitney Houston like rest her or you know Lord rest her soul like and then other people that are just caught up in this whirlwind of just drugs and mayhem. I just feel so bad. And it's like Hollywood ain't doing nothing to help them. Because to them, they are just a product. You know what I mean? Like as long as they out on that stage and as long as they behind the booth and do whatever they need to do, they don't care. Even K. Michelle has said something to that effect on an interview with Hot 97 when she was saying, you know, she's tired. She was promo uh, promoting uh, more issues than Vogue. And she was like, I got to stop, t I got to go to the doctor and tell them to take me off all these pills. She was like, they give you pills to wake up. They give you pills to go to sleep. And, you know, she like her look, you know, and then everybody know, come on now. Everybody knows that K. Michelle loves her brown liquor okay so you know add that to all the pills it's just like I'm telling you Hollywood is a war zone and you lucky to get out alive so I just be feeling sorry for these stars that's why I don't really be too quick to go in I just like to just state the facts so yeah Stevie I hope you really get it together Carly Red sit your ass down Y'all, let me know what y'all think about all this drama that's been going on on Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. I mean, personally, I just think that they need to take this time when they're not filming to all regroup. All the cast members need to get their lives together. Mona, you need to get the show together because it's falling off, okay? I don't know what the hell that was last year, but you need to revamp, get it together. Y'all, let me know what y'all think. Anyway, please do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Till next time, y'all. Peace and love.